Mike, the state auditor general says it was unchecked spending and huge borrowing without anything in place to cover that expense. State Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale calls it dereliction of duties that pushed the Penn Hill School District to the edge of a financial cliff. He says the school district's nearly broke. Now his audit spans from July 2012 to June 2015. He says the school board in that period, along with the former superintendent and former business manager, all failed the students and parents in this district. The auditor general says his audit shows the the Penn Hill School District debt skyrocketed from $11 million to $167 million in five years, borrowing with no plan to pay for it. He calls it stunning financial mismanagement and illogical business decisions. At a minimum, it is the height of fiscal mismanagement and irresponsibility. At a minimum. Do I personally believe there's a good chance that crimes have been committed? Yes, but I'm going to leave that to law enforcement to make those final decisions. The Allegheny County District Attorney's Office, the U.S. Attorney's Office for Western Pennsylvania will not say whether or not criminal investigations are underway. Reporting live in the Penn Hills School District, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank you, Bob. This comes after teachers were furloughed here. Now tonight, more outrage from taxpayers after hearing the district is that deeply in the red. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram continues our team coverage with that side of the story. Sheldon, people you talked with today had a lot to say. Absolutely, and a lot of people in Penn Hills pay close attention to the details as they unfolded during the news conference this morning, and everyone we spoke with felt disgusted from what they've learned. Ma'am, are you a Penn Hills resident? Uh-huh. With Channel 4 here, did you hear about the audit of the school district today? Yes. Let me show you some reports that came out of the audit. I want to get your opinion. Here's some of the details. That's a shame. After I'm, reading some of this. I'm not happy. You're not happy. No. Penn Hills residents react with disgust after learning of credit card abuse for personal use, wasteful spending, and a disregard for money earmarked for children's education. The state audit reveals a $170 million sinkhole in the Penn Hills School District. Where was the watchdogs at in this area? It's problematic. The kids' education is more important than buying donuts and water heaters. That's crazy. Does it anger you as a taxpayer and as a parent? It does. We're laying off teachers it, because of this, and the borough is not functioning financially as it should be, then something's wrong with that. So is this why 43 teachers are slated to be furloughed in the Penn Hill School District? These revelations really severely hurt the students' learning environment. And just about everyone we spoke with says that this matter should be followed up with criminal charges. Reporting live from Penn Hills, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Sheldon